I knew that um, he was uh, Oregon's best athlete, right? He was, um, what, 10 5, 10, no, 10 3, 100 meter sprinter. Uh, I see, I saw, I, I've seen pictures uh, from his youth. He was a lot trimmer, a lot slimmer then. Um, but, you know, when he when he came here and and seeing that he was he retired from football, I believe he was right from Oregon, and to be able to um, acquire him <laughs> off of waivers, you know, what <laughs> um, was huge. And then you know, um, watching him there in fall camp, watching him get in the fold, you saw glimpses of why he was um, one of the best athletes, if not the best athlete in Oregon, you know at a period point in time and um you know looking at his journey and then you know getting it in the mix now and having him carry the ball uh you you see um that he he is a next level back you know and you know you start thinking um i know there were some injuries but you start to wonder had he kept going you know injury free stay consistent with it um what what his future would look like. I mean, because even now he still has a bright future. And, you know, he's kind of um, – he's had a long layoff. And now he seems to be getting back to full strength. So his story is remarkable. And, um, you know, de- depending on what he decides to do, you know, I think, um, I think the sky is the ceiling for um, Thomas Tyner, just depending on what he wants to do, you know. Um, no, I've, I've heard, you know, rumblings about, um, what he may do. And, um, I, I don't, I try not to, you know, apply pressure cause I need to sit down with him, um, when it's all said and done, you know, just like I knew I mean, everyone on a personal level and kind of, um, kind of see where their hearts are and see, you know, see where his head is at. And give him the pros and cons as as best I you know I see fit for him, and um, hopefully I can guide him into making a um, well informed and educated decision about what his future holds in football.